Yo, oh, <coughs> what is up, folks? So, I'm going to do something entirely different for you today. And, uh, bear in mind, I'm still very much high on DMT, but, um... You know, when has that ever stopped me from stringing together a sentence? So, um, I made another big investment today. Um, I made a few big investments. So for one, I got this iPhone 11 because of the camera, not because I like iPhones and want to support Apple in any way. But uh, I digress. Um, I uh, got the Vapor Genie today, which, you know, by far best means smoking DMT I've encountered. Um, still didn't break through, for fuck's sake. Um... But, uh, hey, you know, the night is young. Um, but anyways, the other thing, and this costs more than the Vapor Genie, was the stuff I need to make my room a sexual fucking dungeon. Check this shit out. Fucking arm straps. Leg straps. It's just cursory at the moment, so, like, it's not secured, like... Uh, you know, some of the stuff is a little flimsy, but this is just, like, a general idea of what it's gonna look like. So, you know, take a young lady. Ow, fuck my head. Um, put her on the cuffs. Put her on the fucking straps. And, uh, yeah, with, uh, these toys, yes fucker right here that vibrates, you know, just the massaging the clit with the tip of this, fucking, that can work wonders, and this, this is fucking amazing, this is the G-spot and the clit at the same time, and, um, like, holy fuck, I remember back in the day, like, I was on a mission to find the G-spot, and, like, I remember in my, like, filthiest, filthiest of days being, like, uh, really high on MDMA or something, and, like, with a random chick, and, like, well, if I can find your juice spot, you can find my prostate. <laughs> like, oh, it's totally shameless, I mean, but, I mean, this is kind of shameless in itself, but, hey, I want to be Dr. Orgasmo. I want to bring orgasms to the masses, because, how, how like, having a great orgasm is like letting off a fuckload of stress, and the thing is, you know, I have, like, rarely had sex in the last three years because I have terrible prostate pain. Like, fucking hurts. It hurts. It feels like I'm getting stabbed. Even though I'm st stabbing someone else. It's fucking weird. Uh, it's ruined my libido and shit, but, like, I don't really care. The male orgasm is fucking overrated. And I believe that my pleasure comes from the pleasure of others. And, uh, like, a woman climaxing is a beautiful thing, especially if it's several times in a row. Like, I used to do shit like this, um, at the old place, but, um, it's funny because I never, <clears throat> I never really took, uh, <clears throat> like, you know, BDSM or anything like that that seriously. I honestly found it kind of, like, tacky. Like, I, I was brought to, um, uh, what was it called? Like, it was, like, Sin City or some shit by my ex. And it was, like, a BDSM, like, kind of sex show. Like, people just showed up and would fuck and shit like that. And I found it, like, just kind of silly. And, like, tacky and fucking tasteless. and Or just not tasteless, just silly. But, like, um... Uh, I, I, and then I've also had people try to do the, like, like, sub-dom thing, and, like, there's one chick, she's, like, really, like, like, playing, uh, like, overplaying the, the submissive part, and just acting like a fucking child, and, like, I, I just, like, stopped, but, like, laughing, and I, I wasn't trying to be a dick, but it was, like, it just was so, like, theatrical, and... Like, uh, like cheesy, like fucking cheesy. Um, but, you know, in the right circumstances, those things can definitely be a boom for sure. Um, you know, you can have lots of fun like that. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, because like, fuck, 
I'm getting sick and tired of like turning people down who I've been like really interested in uh, because like I'm insecure about my prostatitis and like how it's completely like fucked up my libido and made it just like painful to fuck. Like that's what I associate with fucking now is pain. Um, and it's just the worst out of any of my afflictions. It's, it's, it's beyond humiliating. Um, it feels like a cosmic joke at times. Um, but, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't need my dick to bring fucking pleasure to other people, man. I mean, anyways, I'll have this all fucking, like, bolted down and shit tomorrow morning, but, yeah, that's the gist. Arms, (coughs) legs, (coughs) will be farther down a little bit more. But, um, and then these are gonna work wonders, and I'm probably gonna get, like, one of those vibrating eggs, too. Um, and, uh, like, a cat of nine tails, if feeling wild, like, I had a couple girlfriends who, like, you know, I brought, like, uh, uh, like, shit you'd, like, whip horses with back from Alberta, and they would just, like, fucking go nuts with those things, man, but it was, like, I mean, when you're fucking hammered and a teenager and shit, it's, like, fucking pretty cool. But then you wake up and you got welts in the morning, you know? But, you know, it can be fun sometimes. Uh, anyways, that's all. Bye-bye.